Hello and welcome to Metro Arts. I am your host, Larry Wallace. Here on Metro Arts, we highlight some of the best in the business, from fine artists, photographers, and performing artists, to cinematographers and musical artists, all from the Metro Detroit area. On today's show, we'll also explore the award-winning documentary work of Keith Famey, and we'll meet David Humphreys, learn about hair words, and see hair as an art. But first, Detroit hip-hop rap artist Paris Noel starts off our show with Timeless. Potential. Get back to boy that's mental. Get back to boy that's four in the morning, pull instrumentals, discussing his problems he couldn't swallow. Is it so simple? Swear if you got him, then God promise you'll make a fist. Full of fight, just to make this shit right. Working Comcast in the daytime as I write rhymes overnight. They say day rhyme, but you stay blind while your screen's so close and bright. Cause this company doesn't cover my vision, insurance quite. But that's another sight. My mother was the loving sight. Insured a pair of gazelles and only wet them for hype. Is it ironic they was a gift? From a woman I didn't like Remember the time she got denied For me asking to pay her like Stupid Thought I was Cupid Restoring love that was useless I'm making time for my new She got me trying some new That same woman told me My music is kinda drakey Guess they gave her reasons Of really wanting to date me I got the show in the O And I wonder how long it take me To catch a flight to New Orleans But Chicago I've been lately So um I had my first show there And I had the show first there But I had to know first there That I had to blow first there But that's another note I'm currently on the mother boat I can't afford a mother ship To put all of my mothers with The mother figures at least uh, Julia, Tiffany, Marilyn If I forgot your name Please don't be pissed at me Blame my father All these women he brought around me My uncle's clowning Trying to tell me How a new town is If I moved away But I think he want me to stay For his benefit So he can reap the benefits On some old committed no, no, not this dream, no get rich quick scheme Back in 06 when I was 15, I took no number when this means Plenty women attracted me before what and attached to me Wise opinions and facts on me on how people react to me But I'm trying to get back to me Why would you turn your back to me when I'm trying to get back to me Back to me Which means you ain't believing me at first So the second time around I'm about to show you what I'm worth in Israel Why would you turn your back to me when I'm trying to get back to me Back to me which mean you ain't believing me at first So the second time around I'm about to show you what I'm worth in Israel Pressure, handle all that pressure like needles being injected at Dauphine intersections and fans being an essence at the same time it's affecting but this is what you created no time for the second guessing no no let in the wrong direction these conversations what essence I contemplate on this day with destiny this show Hello Paris and welcome to Metro Arts. How you doing? So we just watched your video Timeless. Can you tell us how did that video come about? Um, that experience came from a past relationship. Okay. Honestly, um, it definitely was a tragic experience. Mm -hmm. um, definitely just inspired me to actually go forth and make it into a body work of music. So, as you see it, it just transitions and segues to a different experience, me getting away from something mm -hmm. and making my way towards something else. Okay. Yeah. And at what point in your life did you decide you wanted to make music? Um, actually, when I was 10. Mm -hmm. I was 10. I was with my mentor, um, DJ Chokes. He uh, definitely was at a housewarming party, turntables, put them on. Me and my brother, we were battling. Mm -hmm. From there, I was like, man, this may work. Yeah. It work. So it was definitely, definitely valid at the time. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe your experience as an artist? Uh, my experience is it's breathtaking. Okay. Because the way things, how I collide them together and how experience can move forward within me, mm -hmm. and I could just put it on a platform. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And in the future, what kind of artist or what artist would you want to work with? Um, Someone that is trying to carry a message to make a difference. Okay. You know, not any particular names, but somebody that's definitely striving with a purpose. Mm -hmm. And if you could give one piece of advice to any young person trying to break into the industry, what would that be? Don't look to make friends. Yeah. Don't look to make friends. Okay. Yeah. 
And you're actually going to be performing another song for us today. It's called Absolutely. Staring at the Sky. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, Staring at the Sky is just a, a series of events, me experiences that I've had. Just really wanted to be a escape for someone that may be seeking validity of whatever struggles, hardships, dire times they may be going through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, through God, it'll all be okay. Right, for yeah, sure. Definitely. And where could viewers find out more information about you and your music? Well, you can definitely look me up at parisnoel.com, my website, social media, all social media platforms. Um, yeah, just pretty much, you know. I definitely, I'm around. I'm around. Okay, definitely. Well, Paris, I want to thank you so much for being here today. It was a pleasure. You. You're watching Metro Arts, produced at the Midtown Studio at Wayne State University. Yeah, starting to talk for the ground up, all the shit that surround us. Well, same ones that'll make it out to be the same ones that'll doubt us. But chasing the same dreams at the same time, the same lane stopping the same signs. And they think it to themselves in the fame's mind, but I don't really think it helped because the fame's a crime. Oh, that's what you're here for. That's what you said to tear for. When it all runs out, you living in a drought. You having plenty doubts here, big go. Drink up, drink up, try not your problems. Career ain't going high, really was promised. Yeah, baby, mama can find it to another dude that started rhyming. Please zip, you got the time and then hear me out. Please hear me out. Huh. As I wake up, self-esteem is real low. It don't help that my seat is still closed at the bottom of the shelf. Surrounded by everyone that sells and your line told ever when you well. Oh, that's a bad look. And what's going now was the girls with the bad looks. From a ringside, Floyd fights throwing mad hooks. From a king's eye, what you see is what I had took away from me. That's basically what an up-and-coming artist would hate to see. You try to battle out this fight when they pay to see. People shooting darts and trying to hit a bull's eye. The heart of a line, a vision of a bull's eye. I'm a part of this ride with dreams on the cliff. Five, you believe. Tick, Come on. Talk, tick, talk. Time keep going and you keep getting older and you wonder when it all gon' stop. You remain drenched from raindrops. The dark cloud has been floating up top. And you wonder if the sun gon' shine, but you don't see a sign that the rain's gon' stop staring at the sky. So help me God, so help me God. So help me God, so help me God. So help me God, so help me God. So help me God, so help me God, so help me. So help me. And you wonder if the sun gon' shine, but you don't see a sign that the rain's gon' stop staring at the sky. I took it back to school days. I couldn't afford the cool grades. I was lame. It was noise to be made. True enough, a new phase. When everybody's two faced, the girl that took your virginities away, she looked at you as a blame. Cause you put more on the fame. When I said more, I'm in emotion. Doors open the game. Watch me switch up the game and I stitch up my pain. My cause filled up with anger today, huh? This here like a horse race. I pop up out the blue. You wondering in your mind where I came from. No one can see the tame. When we gifted in the presence in this path is amazing. This past was fatal. And now nobody can tame him. Because nobody can but Dave. And that's what my real name is. Today, I'm a hey, I'm still feeling shame. So may I say why I share a little pain with you? This Hip hop deserve me. We up right and early. I swear to my let's get into it. Nobody's worry was all on that simple. Should have been buried six feet if you heard me. For least that we hit in a hurry. Women we didn't discourage the most of my that's not loyal. They turn on each other, confirming them. Shit was burning them. Not my new friends at the bank. It's my Ben Franklin, quite frankly. I don't care what you think. I'm not Illuminati saint, huh? My wait, huh? They say you sound like Drake. They ask me how you take it. I embrace it. Back to the basic, back to my space. Man, I'm right now. Flows with a heart full of hatred and wait. Come on. Talk. Tick, tock, time keep going and you keep getting older and you wonder when it's all gonna stop. You remain drenched from raindrops, the dark cloud has been floating on top. And you wonder if the sun gonna shine, but you don't see a sign that the rain's gonna stop staring at the sky. So help me God, so help me God. So help me God, so help me God. So help me God, so help me God. So help me God, so help me God, so help me. So help me. So help me. So help me. And you wonder if the sun gon' shine, but you don't see a sign that the rain's gon' stop staring at the sky. I'm from the city where they hate you, and they raising the crime rate too. Yeah, and the ones you relate to is the ones who they take away from us. Yeah, who really trying to make a way for us, cause we all know it ain't the state boys. Yeah, not every rapper got a murder rap, cause in reality they wouldn't make noise. Man, I mean it's getting stronger. So many people I depart from. I mean you gotta be really talking about something just to make out of the city that I come from. I mean it's, it's so uncomfortable. Little nigga, you see the lunchables, but now I ain't only eat rappers and turn niggas into Casper and doing it the way he making fun of them ghosts. So many party promoters and hosts and they feel it's important so this can boast that resorted to them killing rope. And that boy Dex and my nigga J Mo, kids come up missing and nobody knows and police show less interest when it's not they own, but they quick to search because that's on their way home because that's who they like picking with because of our tone. We and is it gonna fade away. I'ma pop all these pills and then hopefully take all my pain away. Suicidal, maybe the end I go viral. I'm just tired of these rainy days. When the bullet is conceived, you can guarantee that it ain't no name on it. Man, it feel like it's waiting on us. Who got the aim on us? Tick, tock, tick, tock. Time keep going and you keep getting older and you wonder when it's all gonna stop. You remain drenched from raindrops. The dark cloud has been floating on top. 
And you wonder if the sun gon' shine But you don't see a sign that the rain's gon' stop staring at the sky So help me God, so help me God So help me God, so help me God So help me God, so help me God Our next guest on Metro Arts is Emmy Award winning filmmaker Keith Famey. His company, Visionalist Entertainment Productions, is known for creating documentaries about powerful topics such as suicide. Let's begin with a short clip from Death Is Not the Answer. His freshman year, became captain of his freshman basketball team, friends, everything you can possibly think was wonderful. I left, and the next day, she said, Jeff is dead. Hello, Keith, and welcome to Metro Arts. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So we just saw a brief clip of the film Death Is Not The Answer. What inspired you to make that movie? You know, uh, actually a rabbi had come to my office and said, I'd like you to, to consider doing a film about suicide and depression. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had lost his brother several years, 20 some years earlier, and he just felt it was a strong, you know, so a certain, you know important story to get into. And, I was apprehensive, to be honest with you, at the, in the early stages of it. And I, once we started researching on it, I realized how important it would be to allow families to talk about loss of their loved ones, to talk mm -hmm. about individuals who have struggled with depression, just understanding depression yeah. even better, to understanding the stigma of depression. Mm -hmm. uh, and then at the same time, the film also answers questions like, what makes us happy? Does music make us happy? How we eat and live? Right. Does that affect our, our mental mm -hmm. you know, well-being? So I mean, it's turned out to be a really exciting project that we know have helped you know, quite a few people. Right. And now covering such difficult topics like this, what special challenges do you face when trying to talk to people? You know, I think that as a filmmaker and as a producer, you have an obligation to, before the audience, before yourself, mm -hmm. what you're trying to create, is with the person you're sitting time, spending time with, that you're asking them to share something. So it's important you empower them and make them feel like they're the teacher, mm -hmm. they're safe with you, you're sincerely interested. Mm -hmm. And what they're going to tell you and how you're going to share it is going to help a lot of people. Right. And I think everybody has that inside desire to help people if yeah. given a chance. And everybody has that desire inside to feel important, that they have mm -hmm. something important to say. So I spend a lot of time early on with individuals to make sure they understand that I respect them and I, I desire what they have to say because it's going to help other people. Right, for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The next clip is from the film Grit. Let's take a look. Okay, Jimmy, we're getting ready to go. We're going to go for our walk. Okay, you ready? Jim loves the outdoors. He loves nature. He loves people. We come here every day just about when it's nice outside to walk. We walk all the way around the lake and then a little bit more than that. Uh, usually it's around six and a half miles that we put in every day. He was born with a deletion of the 15th chromosome. He wasn't able to actually start walking until he was about seven years old. Jimmy's 32 years old. Okay, we're getting ready to go on our six mile walk. are the ordinary heroes in your life who symbolize what it means to persevere, to fight, to commit. In this documentary film, we will explore grit through the lives of people worldwide who have had to develop a never give up attitude to survive. Okay, so Keith, we just got done watching grit. Um, and from the beginning of the film, it asked an interesting question. What was the main purpose of this project? Grit for me as 57 years old, I wanted to address, I want to put the mirror on the audience mm -hmm. to ask that question, do you have grit? Mm -hmm. Is grit within your life? What is grit? Is it something we are born with, we're raised with, mm -hmm. circumstance from some horrific accident or something that takes place in your life that makes you find grit? How does grit relate to people that grow up in third world countries? What happens when we don't have grit? Mm -hmm. What happens when society, a sector of society doesn't have grit? Right. So I think that grit is going to be a film that's going to help anybody mm -hmm. look at their own lives and say, do I have grit? 
and at the same time be inspired and, and educated by what the term grit means. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Survival is also one of the main themes in the film Enlisted. Let's take a look. We were on a routine vehicle patrol and we hit a 200 pound bomb along the way. When I hear someone say, uh, oh yeah, I know what you're going through. The first question I ask them, uh, are you blind? My life is total darkness 24 seven. I had some dark days, uh, not like suicidal or anything like that, but dark days where I, uh, I felt sorry for myself. The traumatic brain injury and the PTSD work against me all the time. I think if you don't come back a little screwed up, there is actually something wrong with you. Now, Keith, we just got done watching the film Enlisted. What inspired you to make that film? Well, we're an all-voluntary military. And over the years, I've been fortunate to have done several tribute films about our military, our greatest generation, our Vietnam generation. Uh, we did one soldier story about a young man who died in Afghanistan a year in his family's life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now for us as a nation to be protected, somebody has to put a uniform on. Mm -hmm. Somebody your age. Right. Why do you do it? Mm -hmm. What do you get out of it? Yeah. What don't you get out of it? When does it exceed your expectations or when does it fall short? Yeah. And what happens if you've come back and you've lost something, an arm or a leg, or something mentally, something right. happened you know, within the field that has changed the way you look at life? Mm -hmm. So sure. I want, I think that the film Enlisted, which will be ready in the fall, I, I really want our audience to understand what it is to enlist now right. and what people get out of that process. Yeah. And I think that it'll create a new level of respect for the young people as well as veterans in general. Right, for sure. And where could viewers find out more information about some of your films? You can go to our website, which is simple, www.v-prod.com. Mm -hmm. And I'd uh, love to have you check us out and hope you support what we do. And Right, for sure. You know what we, our slogan is we tell America's stories. Yeah, and, you definitely. Know, you know, I'm honored that we can do just that. Okay. Tell people stories. Yep. Well, Keith, I want to thank you so much for being here today. It was a pleasure interviewing you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. Our next guest on Metro Arts Detroit is David Humphreys, the creator of Hair Wars. Welcome to Metro Arts, David. Hey, thanks for having me, Larry. You're welcome. So Hair Wars has a pretty extensive background in the city of Detroit. Can you tell us about it? Oh, yeah. We go back to 1985. That uh -huh. was the first time we did the Hair Wars, and we're still doing it today. Yeah. And uh, we love Detroit, and we love the stylists here. Okay, 1985, that's 32, 32 years. years. Wow. Yeah, 32 years old. So actually, before creating Crazy Hairstyles, you were making beats on the turns table. How did you make that transition from being a DJ to owning the company? Well, doing, the company? doing music in the clubs, you know, I was a DJ and party promoter. Mm -hmm. We put it all together, the hairstyles coming to the parties. We wanted to mix it up and do a little hair show at the parties. Mm -hmm. Didn't know it was going to be this, you know, lasting this long, but we actually took the hairstyles and, and, and had them do little skits and show off their hair. They had nowhere else to advertise their hair. Uh -huh. This was a platform for them. Right, and as the main creator of Hair Wars, how far would you say it's come since it's been founded? Well, it's been a long way. You know, uh -huh. being local to people coming from other cities, seeing the show, we started going on the road. Uh -huh. 1994, we went on the tour. First okay. uh, stop was Hollywood. Uh -huh. We took some of the top stylists from Detroit, went out there with the LA stylists, and, uh, and Detroit blew them away. Yeah. You know, because we had all the bad hairstyles and they were theatrical and everything for L.A., but Detroit had the, the hairstyle and the music and they could dance and all that, so it's a stage show. Yeah. So you said you guys went on tour. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about that experience? Okay, the tour went, uh, we did 10 cities mm -hmm. for 15 years, so we, yeah. were, we were all over the place. We did uh, 25 cities with seminars, mm -hmm. so we were all, all over the place, all over the country representing Detroit. Detroit hairstyles would go to every city that we would go to, and then we would add their city into the show, too. Yep. And where do you see Hair Wars going in the future? Probably in the universe, you know, getting our space shuttle outfits together uh -huh. now, you know. So we're going we're gonna to travel. But actually, we, we're looking to do Europe, doing more things. We get a lot of media uh, t attention in Europe right now. So we're planning on going over the pond mm -hmm. and, and do some shows and create uh, some excitement with these hair entertainers. Yep. Now, you've been doing this for 32 years, you yeah. say. What is the craziest hairstyle you've ever seen? The craziest hairstyle would probably be the uh, python and Little Willie's hairdo. Mm -hmm. on, on the zipper do, unzipped it, and the python comes out live, you know. Uh -huh. So he's, that was pretty kind of freaked the crowd out a little bit. 
And there's been some wild dudes, but that, that's one of them. Okay, and we're actually going to see some examples today right. from some um, hairstylists. Can you kind of tell me what am I going to expect? You're going to expect fantasy. Okay. A world of fantasy hair. Okay. And uh, check it out. Okay, sounds good. So our first stylist that's going to be presenting is Keith Matthew. Hey, Keith, welcome Hi, to Metro Arts. Doing? Thanks for having me. Now, can you kind of tell us about the model that you have here? Okay, this is uh, basically a two-piece wig. Okay. Um, actually, it's about four pieces that detach. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was basically inspired for the last hair show, which was uh, uh, a Motown show. Okay. Uh, of course, cars in Detroit. And so right. Basically, I made it. It lights up and it does a lot, a few different things. But uh, it was basically inspired for that show. Uh, oh, wow. Um, so I made quite a few different wow. wigs like this. And, uh, how, how did you come up with the concept of the color and the sparkle? Well, the, uh, you know, red and white, red car, of course, uh -huh. <laughs> what everybody likes. So I came up with the red and white, uh, but I always use a lot of detail on most of my wigs as far as stones and sparkles and different things. So that's just uh, normal on the wig, basically. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you so much for being here. Okay. The next one. And where does your inspiration usually come from, Keith? Pardon me? Where does your inspiration usually come from? Well, uh, actually, uh, I had a sister that did hair years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I usually, well, I started out basically doing hair when she started. So. Okay. It's about, 40, it about 41 years ago. Okay, so cool. It's been a long time. You want to this tell us is, about uh, this piece? Yeah, this is also uh, from the same show. Actually, okay. these were 45 records, mm -hmm. uh, but I kind of switched it around. Um, it's a basic, uh, it's, it's just kind of a basic wig, but uh, I added a few things to it. And uh, it's basically for show, though, more so oh, wow. than anything else. Yeah. So oh, this one lights up, up too. Wow. Yes, uh, now, are these Christmas balls? No, actually, these are uh, small baseballs. Okay, so cool. Can I Sure. Oh, wow. Let me fill the piece. Oh, oh, wow. But I uh, painted them, okay. added glitter, and when you add the glitter with the paint, they don't come off. Oh, wow. So, basically, Great. that's why I use those. Okay, wow. Well, I want okay. to thank you so much for being here. Your work is phenomenal. Thank you, thank you for you so having much. me. It's been a pleasure Appreciate interviewing it. you. Okay, thank you. So our next stylist that we're going to hear from is Lolo Willie. Hey, Lolo Willie. Hello. Welcome to Metro Arts. Thank you for having me. You want to tell me about your first piece here? This is called the Hair Hummer. Okay. This is designed for Detroit because uh -huh. Detroit is known as the hair capital mm -hmm. and also the motor capital. Oh wow. And also we have the auto rammer going on. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I want to do something for Detroit. Okay, cool. Sounds good. And Lil Willie, where does your inspiration come from when you're creating these wild pieces? Uh just being creative, just taking it from my mind uh -huh. and putting it to reaction. Okay. Tell us about, ooh, tell us about this piece. This is called the hair guitar. Okay. I created this hairstyle so I can be able to perform on stage okay. using hair guitar. Uh -huh. And also when I'm on stage with this piece here, I do what you call play a little music yep. with my hair guitar. And what other um, objects do you use? Because I'm pretty sure you have to use something to shape the guitar. What did you use? I use a cardboard for my foundation. Okay. Once I form it with the cardboard, then I lay the hair onto the foundation. Okay. Using glue gun or whatever would make the uh -huh. hair. Uh-huh. So if somebody wants to play a guitar, just play on her head. Play on her head. Okay, cool. Tell us about the next model. Yes, we'll my be next model. Up shortly. It's called the 007 basket. Oh wow. This particular hairstyle for my show, I put different type of ornaments into the head. Okay. I unzip it at the top, and I take the burrs okay. out, and other things I have took out of the head before. Whatever comes to my mind, uh -huh. that's what I do. Like what? Uh, as Hump mentioned earlier, I, I had a four feet long python snake inside. Oh, this was, okay. Yeah. <laughs> had a bird. Uh -huh. And one show we did in 
Baltimore. I had chicken wings inside. Oh, wow. I got okay. hungry on stage, so I started. Hey, that's what you got to do, huh? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, Lola Willie, I want to thank you so much for being here. Your pieces are phenomenal. Thank you thank for you having Thank you so me. much for being here. I want to thank everyone for, from Hair Words for being here today. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. We hope you enjoyed today's show. I would like to thank our guests, Paris Noel, Keith Famey, and David Humphreys, and the group from Hair Words for being here today. Remember, you can watch any of our shows online at MetroArtsDetroit.com and find us on social media. I'm your host on Metro Arts, Larry Wallace, reminding you to always support the arts and cultivate the talent in your community.